thank you very much for being here. Uh, today we're discussing your film, which is in competition in our festival. And uh, it's a great honor to have the film erased um, because it's something that I've been following for quite some time now. And uh, I've been excited from the first moment that I saw the film. Um, first of all, I would like to ask you to introduce yourselves to our audience and then maybe we can dive into the topic of the of the film and uh, what exactly we're dealing with because I think it's something really uh, monumental. Mm -hmm. Hello, I am Judita Frankovic Brother. I'm an actress from the film from Croatia slash Slovenia. The main, the lead actress. Yeah, I'm just a the star, <laughs> the star of the film. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, I'm Michael Mazzini. I'm a writer and director of the mm -hmm. film. Of the film. And as the title says, um, erased. So we're talking about people who've been completely erased from society, from whose life has been, an identity has been basically erased. Uh, prior to seeing the film, I have to admit that I didn't have the historical knowledge of what was happening in the transition in your countries and where the film is set. And I was shocked to see even the numbers, because just by reading the numbers, which is um, astounding, I was profoundly touched and the topic itself is really strong. So if you could please maybe just introduce a little bit what happens and what's the historical context in which the film takes place? Uh, in the 1992, Slovenian government uh, erased the people who were born out in the ex-Yugoslav Republic. Slovenia got independent and then they erased Official uh, data is around 25,000 people. Slovenia is small, so that's a little bit like less than 2% population, but they erase them, meaning not only they turn them into total illegal immigrants, you know. Mm -hmm. They lost everything, basically. All the, let's say, this like bureaucratic formal identity. And that was first part of big problem. And the second part was that they didn't knew it. They didn't know. They didn't know. Basically, uh, you know, in their lives, nothing has changed until they came <laughs> in touch with the government or the law or policemen stopped them because they were speeding or something. And suddenly they were illegal immigrants, you know. And in this film, I, uh, I started with the story of a woman who's coming to give birth to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And because it's emergency, of course, uh, she, gave, <laughs> she gives birth, but then the problem starts. The big, big problem is because she doesn't exist. Child is in the files because he's born there. She doesn't want to tell who the father is, and she's not existing persons. And that's uh, all kind of legal problems, you know, because non-existing woman... And she has yeah. to be deported because she's Basically, illegally... Basically, yes. I mean, uh, there were, I mean, in real life, these things were happening. The people mm -hmm. uh, got deported uh, deported over the border. And the problem was because the, some of the raised were, for instance, I don't know, Serbian. They were born in mm -hmm. Serbia or in Croatia. And the problem is if somebody got deported, he, he got deported over the border to Croatia. And if he was born in Serbia, that <laughs> and Serbia problem. and Croatia were in war at the time. And right. that was big problems. And to a country where the person has never lived or doesn't yes. have Anybody, any connection yes. with. And it's interesting because uh, uh, when, I don't know, when I'm on reading tour as a writer in Serbia or Bosnia or Macedonia, people come to me and say, I was I got erased at the time, but luckily I have I had relatives in mm -hmm. Serbia or Macedonia, and I moved there. But I wanted in this film to have somebody that doesn't have relatives there. You know, she was just born there, yeah. and she has nowhere to go suddenly. And prior to making the film, how much, for example, did you know about it historically, and how much? let's say, information was actually accurate and how much did you have to dig and research to understand the real scale of mm -hmm. what was going on and what happened? Well, I also have to be honest, I didn't really know much. Mm -hmm. So for me, like, 
the idea to get a chance to tell her story was a huge, huge honor in a way. Now, of course, now when I'm talking about it from the outside, when, sure. when you're in, you're in. Like, I have goosebumps even talking about sure. it. And when, when we started to shoot, it was, of course, in this film, it's also, that that's more of a like political political and social context for her it's kind of a, a fight for her baby so it's she of course she gets um she kind of passes on this problem of not existing anymore mm -hmm. but for her it becomes a fight for a baby but when i was thinking about it and even during shootings sometimes i i would like because we were shooting for 12 hours, let's say that's like normal working uh, shooting day in Slovenia and Croatia in those countries. And then of course you come home and you're tired and you just fall asleep. But there were some days when I would just come home and I would be afraid to go sleep and mm -hmm. maybe not being able to, to wake up anymore. It was up to that scale of, you know, in a way fear that someone can, you can stand in front of people yeah. and tell them, but that's me, that's me, I exist. And then they tell you, sorry, you're not in a computer. Yeah. There is nothing we can, and it's, it's, I, I still, I still, of course, when we were shooting, we had some other problems and you are, you, you know, you, you shoot day by day, but even today, and it's also, I think it's very current because with all these people trying to defect from their countries that, and, and I'm always thinking, I mean, they're not running away because they have a great time. There mm -hmm. must be something wrong with, Sure. With, with the places they run from so I think we of course never think about it when it's not us but I think we should and and hopefully this film is here to in a way make make people more sensitive about those things and about the fact that it can really happen to anybody absolutely and just now and or tomorrow or like this is what I really think that it's so important to stress because this is not just a historical film let's say this is not a, a look at the past this yeah. is a look at the present exactly. uh, in the united states the mexicans yeah. are being divided yeah. families are being divided parents are being isolated and uh, children caged like wild animals and uh um, it is, your film is uh, absolutely scarily um, and factually present nowadays to today's historical contexts and political contexts. So that's uh, why I wanted, actually, I didn't want to make this like historical film something that's really 1992 Slovenia. Yeah. But I wanted to, to have this, her story, you know, this psychological drama, because in the end, as you did yourself, it always... Come, uh, it comes to a question of identity. Mm -hmm. you know? And we don't think in our everyday lives how big uh, uh, this uh, groundwork of identity the state that um, confirms and uh, admits us, gives us, you know. Mm -hmm. You can always say, oh, um, you know, I belong to this state, to this community, to this, this, this. And suddenly, if you don't belong, you know, it's really primal, this... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the need to belong because we are social, you know, creatures. We have to belong somewhere. And also the fear to be hunted down. Like yes, literally because suddenly you're alone. Down. You are totally alone. And as in the Bible says, you you are uh, dependent on the kindness of strangers. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's a bad <laughs> position. <laughs> you know? Especially nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it sounds romantic when yeah. you just treat yeah. it like this. Yeah, but, but then when you are in a Don't real, do it at home. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, it does sound romantic and the right way if we lived in an ideal world. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, though, there are you know, also in the film, there are many sequences, many parts where, for example, your character has to deal with bureaucracy and bureaucracy is just... No emotions whatsoever. There's no empathy. There's yeah. nothing, as you said before. You just, you're not in the system. You don't exist. Even if you are right in front of Exactly. The person and there's a very powerful moment in which you have the document and she just cuts it out and cuts the document and that's like cutting your life line support and, exactly. and that was actually an order they have these bureaucrats mm. small bureaucrats uh, you know cut the document they just execute yes cut 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 
But you know, this bureaucracy is middle stage uh, from human society to the robotic society. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yes, yeah. you know, you're a robot, you're just cutting, cutting, yeah. or you're doing something. Yeah. So, regardless. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 you're right. So, still now, when you like behind the glass, when you see a real person, mm -hmm. you can still have hope that, okay, I mean, maybe we can connect. But then you turn, you dial a phone, and you need some help. There is no human being behind those mm -hmm. numbers. Like, even for stupid things, like you want to fix your phone or something or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so press, this number, message, press this number, press this number. And according it's really to the rules, scary. you know, according to the rules, I can't help you, you know, or something yeah. terrible. There, we're not anymore individuals, we are customers, or we're exactly. just a, yes. a serial number, mm -hmm. or we're just a reference number for a mm -hmm. complaint. Yeah. And say, so there's, there's not anymore a name and surname and a face attached to it, it's just a, yeah. a code. And um, I think this is uh, what really um, made me fall in love with the film, and this is also why I'm so happy that it's here at the festival and we can just put it out there and hopefully it'll get uh, broadcast and distributed in as many countries as possible because it's really such a subject that yes it comes from your region but it 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 connects with so many other parts and unfortunately yeah. still nowadays it connects with so many other areas in the world and uh, um, I, I really encourage the audience and the public to go watch the film research the film is called Erased. Research it, read synopsis, um, get informed about the historical truth behind the film, and uh, hopefully it'll help also to spread a little bit of empathy and understanding and uh, uh, just humanity back yeah. into the system. And we need that. That would be a lot. That would be absolutely <laughs> yes. uh, very much needed. So thank you very much again for haven't uh for having accepted our invitation for being here thank, thank you, you thank much. you for having us it's wonderful great pleasure. you're having great time <laughs> in thailand i'm glad you are thank you thank, thank you, you. all righty